What's up everyone? Today I have some overly priced stuff here. If you see this, you might know what it is. It's a idle valve or a PCV valve from a 323 GTX. And they do better at boost. That's waffles. Could you wait? Thank you. I bought this from Fab9 and it was like $20 with $10 shipping. I asked them for a sticker and uh, they didn't give me one so points off for that. Also I thought this would be all metal like exterior. I thought they made this themselves but this is just a genuine Mazda part. I still didn't see anyone that sold it cheaper though not even flying Miata. And then over here we have exhaust hangers. And these are polyurethane, I think 75 durometer, and you can't squish these at all or stretch them or anything. The exhaust I have now with the rubber hangers, they just like shake around and it bangs on the subframe, and I'm just tired of it. So hopefully these fit, because they do look kind of chunky, but I don't see why they wouldn't. Right here is the old PCV and if you blow through it like this this side would be on the intake manifold and this side in the valve cover you can actually blow out some uh... some oily air I don't know if you can hear it over the wind but it is leaking but uh... this one here air only goes through it one way it's got metal internals it is a lot more resilient so Hopefully this holds up to boost because this one definitely didn't. The beautiful new PCV valve, as you can see. And this only mm -hmm. took, you know, five minutes. It's not really difficult at all. I did go to fuel hose instead of this power steering hose because, I don't know, it just looked too mm -hmm. thick. Um, and I made it a little longer because it wasn't covering the whole nipple before on the intake manifold but there's a I also did some more stuff off camera I um took off the little pressure sensor here that was for the fuel pressure regulator and don't look at this too hard but I put on a fuel pressure regulator adapter and relocated a manual adjustable one over here I think it looks pretty good here is the beautiful sound my exhaust makes all the time Pretty much any time I like take off or move at all, it hits um on this brace here. You can see it swings. It also sometimes hits the diff, I think. But these are pretty stretched out. There's uh, three of them. So I'm gonna replace these with the new hockey puck mounts, and hopefully they're stiff enough to keep this thing from moving. I have the polyurethane engine mounts too, so the drivetrain isn't gonna shock the exhaust too much but I do have one of those uh, flexible sections so if there is something that could break a weld it would probably flex that first alright y'all here is the first hanger that I got off I just use these normally you'd want channel locks and I guess these are channel locks but better ones uh, you just get in between like the hanger and the nub that like goes through here and you push it and the nub will start to go through here and then you can just twist it off. These are about the same hole pattern but these are super stretchy now you can mess with these with your hand. So getting this on might be difficult but they are about the same size. And you can see we're gonna hook around the bottom one first and then go for the top. Here is the first poly bushing installed. You can see there's a a rubber one here and another rubber one there and then one on the like mid pipe but I just have one on right now and this isn't hitting the subframe anymore it's like really stout I'm gonna put them all on of course but it's already good just like this here we have all three of these poly bushings put in just the one here by the uh, tow hook there's one back here this one was absolutely the hardest this exhaust is 
custom from an exhaust shop. Not like super keen on it. They're, yeah, I'm not gonna badmouth them right now. But uh, this one was really hard. I had to uh, drill it out just a little bit. Or no, it's this one back here. I had to drill it out a little bit with like a 5 8 bit just to enlarge the hole. It was still a tight fit, but I could squeeze it on by hand because you have this in the back of the wheel well, so you can't get a hammer back there to tap the uh, thing over the hook. These ones, you can hit it with a hammer and it'll go over the nub, but that one, there's no room to swing back there, so I just enlarged the hole. But that's all three on. The other one is down there somewhere, right here, I think. And um, that one's going to be hard to get to, but this is just the back three that hold the muffler on. And I can't even like shake it anymore, the whole car shakes. Might be too stiff, but it's not going to hit the subframe anymore, which is the most annoying thing. It's the last hanger on the mid-pipe. Um, it's already like compressed and kind of bent just to uh, be on there at all. So I think I'm going to leave this one rubber. Um, if I could squeeze this off and clip the top off, I would have such a hard time getting the poly one on, so I don't know if I'm going to touch that. I could separate it here and down at the top, but I'm just going to leave this one rubber. I have two left, and I'm probably going to give my roommate with the uh, NB. But this thing isn't moving. You can see my wide band. I'll put a video up of it starting. What's up guys, I figured I would finally finish this uh, exhaust hanger video since um, I did the clutch and I dropped the exhaust. And I moved the O2 sensor that was rubbing um, back up to the downpipe. But anyway, I have the three on the muffler section, three hangers I put in, and then the one up near the cat. I still left rubber because the way the exhaust got designed, which three is more than enough. You can pretty much like shake the whole car with just the exhaust right now. So really, you could just put one of these things on and your whole muffler and exhaust really isn't going to move. I did three just because these mounts are so solid, my engine mounts. I have the AWR ones, so I don't have to worry about the engine flexing. I have a flex joint in the exhaust to make up for it. But yeah, these are good. So go ahead and get them. I got the S2000 kit and they included five. They're like $10 each, but somehow the kits are a little cheaper. So that comes with five, but you really only have four hangers on the 1.8s. So just find your... Uh, Whatever kit works for you, I'll link it down below.